I'm Tim, and we're here on the floor of Eurogamer Expo. And if you can see this very active gentleman behind me, who's now standing still as I say that, but here, we are here with the guys from Omni. Now, if you'd just like to introduce yourself to already. Yes, this is Colton Jacobs, a product manager with Virtuex. We're here showing off the Omni here at Eurogamer, and Scan has been kind enough to host us in their booth. And so here we're showing off our virtual reality treadmill, and so we're going to be playing a couple of games and showing off how it works with the uh, Oculus Rift goggles as well. Cool. And uh, right, if we can just sort of, well, talk through exactly kind of what does this replace in terms of a controller? Like, what, what is it just the movement side of things? I see he's still got a controller in his hand, so you still need some butter interactions, I guess. So the best part about the Omni is really what we're doing is just replacing the keyboard for movement controls. So when he's walking forward, all it's doing is pressing W on a keyboard. Yep. And so really, we can play any game out of the box that uses keyboard for input control. So this is a massive, really expensive WASD, basically, <laughs> what you're saying, yeah? Pretty much, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also, it's great fun. It's really, it completes the immersion of yeah. virtual reality, because you're using the RIP for directional control, pointing where you want to go, and the Omni does the movement forward. Okay, and I noticed you also got what looks like a Kinect sensor over here yes, as well. Yes, so the Kinect is being used for a prototype. So what you're seeing here is actually the only Omni in Europe. Right, okay. And so we're still in the prototype staging, yep. but we've done our Kickstarter campaign, which was wildly successful, as well as we're taking pre-orders on our website. Okay. Now, the pre-orders start shipping around March of 2014, and so that's the round when we start seeing a final version of the Omni. They'll have capacitive sensing built into the base. It can be just like the touchscreen in your cell phone. But it's great for latency as well as uh, positional tracking as well. Okay. And so that's really the key for uh, movement tracking. Right, okay. And so it was that sort of the emergence of that technology that's allowed you to go into this? Sort of exactly. Thing? Well, actually, the Kinect was the original uh, technology that allowed this to happen. But now, since capacitive technology is so widely used, we can go ahead and integrate that with the Omni. Okay, cool. And can you just talk us through the component parts sure. then of the actual system? So it all starts with the special shoes. So right. he's wearing shoes that the same kind of material as the base that he's standing on. And basically think of it as a very slick type of plastic, okay. as well as we have a toe here that gives you more friction. That's great for pivoting and turning, so you do get a little bit more traction in the toe. And beyond that, we have the base, the support ring, as well as a harness. Now the harness is used for safety as well as mobility. So he's actually not attached to the ring, he's resting on top of it. So he has freedom of movement. And beyond that, that's the whole Omni setup. And that's the setup in general. And we're and taking obviously you got Oculus Rift that you've integrated. So with that. again, the Oculus Rift and the Omni go together so well because it gives you the whole 3D uh, 360 display. Yeah. We could also use a flat panel or 3D projection displays as well. And so okay. we're not limited to the uh, Oculus, but again, they go together so well. Yeah, yeah. And see, that's one of the things I found as a limitation, or something that feels odd about the Oculus Rift is that your body isn't doing what you'd expect it to do well and so obviously the connect tracking might help with that as well but then the omni like you say that's the next level of immersion that's exactly. the running when you want to run walking when you want to walk and so again the whole yeah. goal of our virtual reality technologies is i want to be able to walk one direction look another and actually aim my weapon or my sword my in shield a in another different direction i want all three to be independent so it's very intuitive when you get into the machine they just i just walk around and i just do what i normally do now, how difficult have you then found that? Because presumably that's not something that will naturally come uh, with software at the moment. It's something that has to be designed for. Is that something you're finding difficult to kind of uh, get games that can work well on the system, basically? So actually, so again, we can use any PC game. So yeah. you, you install our driver on your computer, and it just replaces the keyboard input. And then, again, if we are limited to what games, for when we're using the yeah. Oculus, what games the Oculus supports. Yeah. And so that's why you see us playing Half-Life 2 and Team Fortress 2. Right, okay. But there are third-party mods coming out for all sorts of other games. Yeah. And as long as we have a display that can play them, then we can play. Okay. And, yeah. and I don't know, it's obviously the, now this looks like a possibly, am I right in saying this is an adapted golfing shoe by the looks yes, of Yes, because again, these are prototype shoes, I, I was but the say, golf spikes fit in the perfect spot. Ah, okay, so this happens so, to be a good fit for exactly. you. Exactly. But is that something that you will develop your own footwear? Yes, we are developing our own up? footwear, right, and okay. when you buy an Omni, again, it's $500 yeah. for the whole treadmill. And that'll get you a pair of shoes, the harness, <laughs> as well as the treadmill. So I'm noticing that, that means that you'll have to give your shoe size when ordering an exactly, Omni, basically. Exactly, yes, yeah. you will. <laughs> your shoe size and your belt size as well. <laughs> And, but uh, can you, would you, are you making plans to make other sizes available so like other members of the family oh, yes. can play the same Omni? And, and so stuff we're, we're ranging from US sizes 4 to 15. Right, right okay. now. So the whole range basically. Exactly, yeah? yes. Okay, so you've got the whole nightmare of having to kind of stock all the different sizes of everything. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
no omni sizes there, basically, yeah? There's a <laughs> US men's size, is what we like to say. <laughs> okay. Okay, for your arm okay. issue. <laughs> okay. but, but then is there, any, is there any software that you're particularly excited about seeing, that you see coming up, that you think will be a great fit for Omni? Well, actually, the reason why we come to shows like this is because we're excited to get developers get their ideas flowing for games that they could develop for the Omni in mind. Because okay. right now we're backwards compatible when we're using games that already yeah. exist. Yeah. But we are really excited for games to be developed for the Omni. For the Omni as well. And so uh -huh. since the Omni is still in prototype, we're really getting it out into developers now. Yeah. And so once we're able to get their ideas flowing, then really good content is what's going to make this fly off the shelves. And is there any plans for a console version in the future as well? Or? Uh, so we're not adding console support at the moment. Yep. Again, I would, uh, I would recommend that everyone sign up for our newsletter <laughs> so they can go ahead and you can see updates for how we go about okay. that. Yeah. Right, and uh, do you know, have you got dates for things going forward or are things very so much So right now we're taking those pre-orders yep. and it has an estimated ship date of March of 2014. Okay, yeah, you said, yeah. And so it'll be around that range. Cool. Well, look, I look forward to being able to run around on my Omni in my it, own it home. Turns every in the future game as well. into a fitness game. Yeah, yeah okay. definitely. And uh, well, more exercise, that's a good thing. They, People can't criticize gamers for being lazy if we're running around. We are changing that's that stigma. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's great. Well, thank All you right. very much for your time. I look forward to getting hands on with it in the future. My thank pleasure. you. Cool.